G'day, how's it going? Saber SG here, and we're into EVE Online series number 27. And uh, the Executioner, I know I did that in the very first episode, but uh, whenever I'm having a really bad run and I'm getting killed a lot, I like to just jump in a simple T1 frig and just throw it at a whole bunch of fights and get some kills that way and have a bit of fun. Uh, so I did a couple different fits, which I'll show you just in a second here, but if you're enjoying the uh, content, you know, you know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so the executioner. Let's have a look at the uh, two fits that I am using. One is just your typical uh, scram kiting fit. Uh, I normally put multi-frequency in and you know, just keep it ranged at around 7k or so and I find that it's nice and quick and it does, uh, does the job quite well. Uh, the good thing about it is when you get those pesky um, kiting tristans that everyone likes to be flying you can engage those as well. I mean, obviously you can't point them, but um, you can at least force them off because you're hitting out to 25k fall off. Um, so that makes them decide whether they're going to try and stick around and get the kill on you, or basically you force them off. So, and the other fit that I use is your kiting executioner. I typically have microwave in there, just for a bit better tracking. So yeah, that hits out to, you know, optimal 22, fall off 25. I normally just keep it range at 20 and orbit around 18, 19k, depending on what I'm fighting. So yeah, they're the two pits, and uh, yeah, let's get into some fights. Alrighty, so in this uh, first fight, I'm in my kiting executioner. I'm waiting inside the plex, and a fire tail comes in. And it's actually Cinema Pan, he's a streamer. I watch him every now and again, he's um, he's a good dude. But um, he comes in with his fire tail, and I didn't really notice until after the fight that he's got a, um, I just assumed it was a micro warp drive, but he's actually got a 10mn afterburner, so an oversized uh, afterburner in his fit, which is, yeah, it's very interesting. I suppose if I was a, like a scram kiting fit, um, it would allow him to dictate range, so it's very interesting. Um, yeah, good idea. But uh, he's got auto cannons, and as long as I'm keeping him at a, a good range, I should be able to kill him. It's quite nice. It's always to get a kill. It's always nice to get a. Um, a kill over a faction frig with uh, just a T1 frig. This ends up being quite a long, long fight. So I got a bit of kid aggro there, hope there's not too much background noise. Slowly burning him down. There we go. Boom. Good fight, mate. Alright, so this time I'm in my scram kiting executioner, and I've got a plus one in there with me, some random militia guy. And I'm glad he sticks around because Sabre Jaguar and his worm jumps in. So I'm glad to have the help because it's a bit much for a little executioner. So uh, things start out fairly well. I'm taking a lot of damage, but hopefully my reps kick me in. And then uh, a couple of Sabre Jaguar's mates jump in as well. Uh, Slicer and a Maulus. So, uh, oh man, I'm just, I just really want to get this worm kill. You see they're trying to jam me, and they've got some uh, sensor damps on me too. Uh, very glad that the Tristan's there. Giving me a hand. But uh, I'm tanking fairly well. 
And the worm is very close to going down and boom, he goes down and I'm trying to warp away and then the slicer manages to point me just as I'm hitting warp off. And I go boom. But yeah, totally worth it. Good fight. Okay, so once again I'm in the Scram Kiting Executioner and I've jumped into a Plex onto a Kestrel. And it's an interesting one because this Kestrel has a tracking disruptor. But um, yeah, lucky for me he's got the uh, tracking speed script in and not the optimal range. Uh, as I'm just keeping it range and trying to, you know, keep transversal to a minimum. It's not affecting me too much, but optimal range, uh, I think it could have been a bit of a problem for me. But anyway, things are looking pretty even. This rocket's got uh, some pretty high alpha. There we go. Boom. Good fight. Right, so in this fight I'm in my kiting executioner and I'm actually sitting outside of the plex and I wait for a while for this guy to come at me. I think um, after a while he gets too tempted. At first he was like 100k away from me. But he gets too tempted and decides to come in and fight me. And uh, he's exactly what I'm hoping. He's a, a blaster fit with void in there in the Atron. So it's just a, it's an easy kite kill sort of deal. Takes a little while, but I imagine I gradually managed to burn him down. Atron's tank quite well though. They're pretty good. Sometimes uh, I don't like to be outside the plex, it's just, you just never know what else is going to land and have e easy access to you on the fight. Slowly working down, it must be extremely frustrating for him uh, knowing that he can't catch me. He's just got to hope that I make a mistake, which happens quite a lot, but uh, not this time. Nearly there, there we go. Good fight. Righto, so in this fight I'm in the Scram Kiting Executioner and a Slicer jumps into the Plex on me. And lucky for me, I managed to get a Web and a Scram on him before he micro warp drives away. Quite often with the Aussie Ping, they just zoom away and I just don't catch him. I think I lucked out this time. But uh, now that I have caught him, I've turned his micro walk drive off, and it's definitely uh, a big advantage for me. Here we go. Boom. Good fight, mate. Righto, so I'm back in the uh, scram kiting execution, and I'm jumping in on a uh, breacher this time. Uh, which is going to be a pretty tough fight, because the man, they're tanky. They dish out pretty decent damage too, and I think the uh, I think a breach is quite fast, so uh, it's going to be an interesting fight. And yep, he's tanking like a bastard. So I'm hoping that eventually I can uh, alpha through his reps, but it's going to it's going to be close. And he's still repping really well. I know that once I do get through those reps, he just melts. There we go. Good fight. That was close. So there we go, that is the Executioner, uh, Scram Kiting Fit and a Kiting Fit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the fights. Um, the great thing about the Executioner is no one's scared to fight you, so you get a lot of fights. It's, it's um, pretty bloody fun. But um, 
Also, in the comments below, let us know if you like this sort of format where there's a number of fits in the one video, or do you prefer to just have a video that's all to do with the one particular fit, or do you just not really give a shit either way? <laughs> but um, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yibbity yibbity, that's all, folks. I'll catch you in the next video.